Hey everyone, we're going to do a real quick tour of my workshop and basically what's going on. Hey everyone, welcome to Black Hut Woodworking. My name is Mark Plant. Thanks for coming in. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. If you could hit that bell icon right next to the uh, subscribe button, you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. Uh, if you're using a mobile device, just make sure that notifications are allowed or you won't get the notification. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and let me know what you think. So what we'll do right now is I'm going to go through a quick tour of my workshop. Uh, for those of you that may not know, my name is Mark Plan. I am a beginner woodworker. Uh, very, a little bit above be beginner, uh, very little. Um, worked on some small projects uh, here and there, and I'm basically learning as I go. So what do you say we'll go over, we'll take a walk over to my workshop. All right, so we'll come into the workshop here. It's a little messy right now, in the middle of doing one project here. Uh, I'm doing a cutting board, shaped like a Christmas tree. It's made out of uh, walnut, cherry, and purple hot. Came out pretty good. Like I said, I'm still learning this stuff. Uh, learning as I go. Uh, so basically, this is... Let me give you a wider view here. This is my workshop here. Again, I apologize. A little messy. Uh, this is a converted finished basement. Uh, I put up this wall here. And the other half of the basement is my office. And TV room. Decides the workshop. We'll go over some basic tools that I have here. I said I am a beginner, so I'm starting out with inexpensive tools. Uh, one of the first tools that I bought before my the power tools is I got this Ryobi nine inch bandsaw. Uh, not 100% thrilled with it, although it did help me cut out the edges on. The Christmas tree here, which worked pretty well, <clears throat> but it's a little underpowered for what I thought I was going to use. Um, but it works okay. It's, like I said, it's not the greatest. If I get more advanced and start doing more advanced projects, then I may have to upgrade on that. Uh, one of my oldest tools in the shop here is this Delta chop saw. I've had this probably about 15 years now. Thing works as well today as the day that I bought it. It's beautiful. No need to change that or upgrade it right now. Um, I have, as you can see, it's a mess, like I said, but I've got a skill router table here. Uh, this works really well. I've been using it, it using it to um, basically join the ed join edges of wood. Uh, not the perfect solution, but it works for me right now. Uh, I got various junk over here. I've got all my hand power tools here. Like I said, mainly uh, Ryobi. Uh, I've got a router there, handheld router, a drill. Um, I've got an old, old jig um, jigsaw there. Uh, Brad nailer and uh, impact driver over here. I got some bits for the router and brain cramp. Can't remember what they're called. Forstner bits. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Forstner bits. Uh, for my table saw, I did have the Delta, which um, I had gotten at the same time that I got the chop saw. Bearings let go on it and I'm not able to replace them. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Went out and I purchased this cobalt table saw. I really like this saw. It works very well. For the price that I paid, uh, you really can't beat it. I paid about $200 for it. So really not that bad of a price. Um, this is a Husky workbench. I've had this for a while. So I do 3D printing also. Um, that's what I originally used this for, but I have it in the workshop now. This workbench over here I built. Uh, not bad for my first attempt at a workbench. 
Gonna have to re-level the, the top though. It's kind of off a little bit. Uh, got a rigid 16 gallon shop vac. Uh, that thing works beautiful. Over here, clamps. Can never have enough clamps in the shop. Never have enough clamps. Uh, I have my Ryobi batteries charging over here. I've got a couple of cutting boards that I finished. They're actually clients that I have to deliver to. I'll be delivering them in the next couple of days. Uh, various tools up here on the pegboard. Uh, another cutting board. This was one that I played with. Uh, I think that one came out pretty good. So that one is for sale. Uh, if I can find someone. Like I said, I'm, I'm not doing this stuff to sell. I'm It's basically a hobby playing around with it. And basically the wood that I've been using for practice is this over here. And this is pallet wood. And the reason I'm using pallet wood is, number one, it's free. It doesn't cost me anything other than my time of ripping it apart. Uh, so I have a little bit to play with over there. Got a couple of longer boards over here. Uh, so that's about it. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but it works for me. Uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, probably going to pick up some more tools soon. Uh, I got to get some more hardwood, some walnut, some cherry, and some maple, because I've got a couple of more hard, um, cutting boards coming up. So that, that'll be something that I'll need to get. So, like I said, it was just a quick tour of my workshop. I like it. It's been working fine for me. Wish it was a little bit bigger. Wish I had a few more tools, but it'll come with time. Uh, like I said, I, I've never gotten into wood. I, well, I should say, I was into woodworking years and years ago. Um, then when my daughters were born, we bought this house here. The house we used to live in had a basement where I could do the woodworking. So I was doing it there. Uh, this basement was completely finished, so I didn't have anywhere where I could make a mess like I can in this room. Uh, and trust me, I'm making a mess in this room. <laughs> so it'll come, uh, different things I'll be able to get an add on. Uh, so it's, like I said, it's coming through, coming soon. I'm learning as I'm going. Uh, like I was saying, I used to do the woodworking in the old house, got away from it for years, and my daughters are now away at college, so I decided to pick up a hobby. This is hobby. It's expensive hobby, but it's a hobby. So, but like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the wood shop, show you what I'm doing. Uh, the next thing I'm actually going to be doing a video on uh, is going to be building a crosscut sled. For the table saw. Uh, I got the parts in today from Amazon. I just gotta go get some plywood and basically build it. So that'll be my next video. But anyway, this is a tour of my workshop. Hope you like it. Leave me any comments. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Uh, like I said, I, I'm as I keep on saying, I'm learning. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will be back to you guys again real soon.